Maktoum. That is his name. His name is Abdullah ibn Umm Maktoum. He came once and very important, he wanted to ask for him some questions. And that day, uh, unfortunately for him, he came and Prophet was very busy with some big dignities in Mecca. Like Abu Jalil, Abu Lahab, Abu Pari. He came having some conversation with Prophet in the mosque. So Prophet is very, uh, I think he's in Medina. So some dignities came, they are in Medina. Some dignities, big personalities. So Prophet is very anxious. Prophet Muhammad is very careful that they are not, you know, very anxious. He wanted to become Muslim. So he was sitting there with them, explaining them Islam on the platform of Google, talking with them. So Prophet is taking it. This is a very nice opportunity. They came to me. They came to my mosque. So there, Abdullah ibn Umi Maktoum to give to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He was also asking some questions. And Prophet turned around, he asked the Prophet, he came over here, said, Prophet, I want to ask the Prophet turn again. Like, he don't want to listen to him. He's very anxious to listen to these dignities. You understand me? Uh -huh. So, that act of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Allah did not like it. Allah Akbar. You see Allah. Allah is a sweet poet. You know? Allah is always sweet poet. That is what he said. In Allah, Allah is a in al heart. Allah said, I'm not shy. I don't feel shy to tell you the truth. If there is something mistake. No, no, no. So, Allah said this ayah. Abasa wa tawalla anja'awul a'ma. Some people say, some of the scholars say, this verse is like Allah is fooling Prophet Muhammad's ear. That makes them don't do that. Do not ignore those four people. Don't ignore those four. No, those four people and those you see them that they are not their personality. They are those who are going to support you for this Islam to go forward. Forget about these big big people. Yeah, so Quran said, Abasa Watawala. Abasa means he skews his face. Watawala, and then he turned around. Who? Prophet Muhammad. So Allah did not come straight away and say, Prophet, you did this, why did you know that? He said, Abasa Watawala. He skews his face, and then he turned around. When the blind man came to him. So you see, in this case, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he ran and called Abdel Ibn Umi Maktoum and begged him. See, Allah was a great man, understand a, a, a surah, a version in about you. Telling me that I've wronged you, I should come and ask for forgiveness. So please forgive me. Uh, do you think, do you think in our time now, somebody who is a very big personality, dignity, you know, chef, imam, who starts, even if he did it, he knew he's wrong. A lot of advice. Some, you just think, no. Uh, he didn't give it. Yeah, I know I'm wrong, but I'm, I'm his share. Right? Yeah, I know I'm wrong, but I'm his landlord. He is my tenant. Yeah, I know I'm wrong, but I'm his boss. He is my, you know, boy boy. I love that, but that's Islam. No. Islam as a religion is teaching us to learn the good manner and good character. With everyone, we should humble ourselves. Look at how Prophet Muhammad humbled himself before the after the people of him of two. The blind man, Prophet Muhammad came to him and said, "Forgive me." And he said, "Oh no, 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 Prophet, oh no, I'm like, no, 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 Prophet." He said, "I'm the center, I'm in you, supporting you on what's happening. Allah is telling me that I should give attention to you and." The goal of you, not all those people put dignity. They cannot do anything. So this is how Islam is moving up to date until the day of judgment. 
Wallahi. Wallahi. Look, Islam is moving and it shall surely move whether you like it or not. With you or without you. With me or without me. So that one there, you have to make it in mind. So for this, you know, you should try as much as possible to let yourself be among those with them Islam will move forward. There will be among be in the bus. Join the bus. Join the bus. Because that bus is moving. Because the captain of the bus is Prophet Muhammad. And the owner of the bus itself is who? It's Allah. So Allah said, I will move my, my religion. What is and I said, I am the one who sent Prophet Muhammad. Who was the answer of Rasulullah. I am the one who sent his messenger. Rasulullah will be Buddha. I sent him with guidance. That is Quran. I sent him with guidance. That is Islam. Do you begin to other you for Islam to come and conquer the world religion? That is what Allah said. For Islam to come and conquer the world religion, Wallah will carry and carry who even the non-believers disbelieve or don't want to allow it. And they refuse to allow it unless they are allowed it to continue. Come, come to think about this. There are some countries, certain countries in the world. From the beginning, since some days, back in the 90s, back in the 70s, we have been hearing, you know, you cannot call Azan, you cannot do such and so. Yeah, countries like Italy, Spain, America, some places, but can you see Islam now? Germany and the rest, France, especially France, Russia and the rest, especially France. France are the most, you know, in the whole Europe. They're the most hatred country to Islam. They hate Islam a lot. They fight against Islam a lot. But at the same time, go in France and see how he job. You, there is a place in France, according to a friend who is telling me, they say, he's telling me there is a place in France if you come to that place. It, you just say, it, 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 you just, it will just make you like you are, you are in Dubai or some place in Saudi Arabia. Women are in their hijab, men are in their jalbab, Adan is calling and the rest. But back in the 70s, no, you cannot hear all this. Go to America today. Go to America. Our brothers are there having a very big mosque. Nice mosque over there. Yang Kasa. Ghanaians. They are Ghanaians. They have a mosque over there called Yang Kasa Association. They are association which every government who should know about them. Clinton, he know about them. They are in New York. And uh, this new uh, uh, president, uh, what is his name? That I don't want to. I'm always forgetting his name. Because of that, you know, uh, sometimes I think he's not a human being. So sometimes I do forget his name. I have known Trump. Trump. I call him, I call him grandfather of America. Whether they like it or not, it's the only thing grandfather. So Americans, <laughs> they are like if they're patient. Yeah. That man hates Islam. And he's out clearly to tell the world he hates Islam. But in this Ramadan, he is wishing to spend happy Ramadan. Uh -huh. If you go to New York, we have a box over there called Anasa. Anasa. Very nice box. Must be the top one. All in America. Go to Germany in Hamburg. I'll show you the picture. I think it's the picture is there or not. They just bought one, uh, must be one church in Germany. They just bought the church. One million euros. One mil, one point two billion euro, and then they turn it into money. Just listen. Just about three, four months ago, before this Ramadan, so that is Islam for you. When you hear about other things, you put this. Allah said, "I brought this Islam is going to conquer 
to hold religion. Wala ukeli al kafirun. Even if the non-believers refuse to allow Islam to flow, no Islam will grow. And Islam has to be grow. Now Islam is a religion, it's a living religion. There was a woman called Hillary Clinton. She was a wife to the former president of America called Bill Clinton. She said this statement, I think back in 2011 or 2010. Huh? What did she say? She said, now the most fastest growing religion in America today is Islam. That is what she said. Even though she hates Islam. Yeah, even though she hates Islam. She hates Islam. She doesn't love Islam. Look at the person I'm going to say, I'm going to go again. Yeah. The person is just saying, وَلَنْ تَبْدَ أَنْكَ لِيَهُودُ وَلَنَّصَارَ حَتَّى تَتَّبِعَ مِلَّتَهُمْ That one is constant in the Holy Quran and Allah will lie. Allah himself is the one who said it. وَلَنْ تَبْدَ أَنْكَ لِيَهُودُ وَلَنَّصَارَ Allah said, Jews and Christians, they will never ever believe you and follow you. They will never like you and your religion. حَتَّى تَتَّبِعَ مِلَّتَهُمْ until the time they will see that you disbelieve Islam and then follow them on their Christianity or Jews. That's what Allah said. So when the person will come and be talking, you know, Muslims, we are all blah blah. It's a lie, it's a politics. Don't believe them, it's a politics. One lie. Quran has already to that. So we know them. Hilary Clinton, she was among those who attacked Gaddafi and killed him. Is it? Hilary Clinton. She was amongst who, amongst who, who, were, who attacked Gaddafi because the day Gaddafi was caught, the video came out, the video leaked. That video is on Facebook and YouTube and the rest. When they called her and said that she was situated, situated. They were, they, were, they were calling ISIS, ISIS, ISIS. ISIS was created by ISIS and this, uh, the, the new one. No, ISIS, ISIS. ISIS are Jews and this, they are not Muslim. But before ISIS, we have some CIA. CIA, CIA is American. They, 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 they are body created by America. They said it by themselves. Even Obama said about it. So they know Islam. Look, 9 11, all the plot was to punish the image of Islam, right? And Muslims. But after, after that, what happened? From 9-11, from that September, October, November, December, about people, the people who, who came into Islam, they were about 300 in New York alone. I met a lady which I was asking her, how did you become a Muslim? She was American, black American. Then she said she became a Muslim after 9-11. After 9-11, after yes. How? Then she said, after 9-11, she started to think a lot about Islam and finally she got to know that Islam is the best religion and the accepted religion and the true religion. So she became a Muslim. Later we got married. The Almighty and I said I was praying. And then in London, in the UK, how many churches are being <laughs> turned into, into churches? More than uncountable. A lot of churches. A lot of churches. Sanidara, you know Sanidara? This uh, sports journalist, Sanidara. Sanidara was telling us when he came to my area. He was telling us in the UK, he was there when he witnessed about five or six monks and uh, uh, these things, churches, which they finally, you know, sell the church and turn it into Muslim. After he came to the Muslim, now people started to come. The Lord, the, 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 there was a church belongs to one, one G. G. Uh, every Saturday, he said, okay, if, if they come to church, uh, 24, 5 people. You were sitting in a very big mansion. Five, four. And then you know these churches are for business. Right? 
So, what are the points? If you are quiet, like you don't believe that some, some churches are for business. I don't know, right? Uh huh. It's only more that you are not for business. So, it started from there. It started from there. America, you, wherever, churches, a lot of churches are for business. You see? So finally, if only five people will come and sit in the church, another Sunday, five people, no contribution, no collection, then it's better for him to send it. So they send it to the Muslim house with the church, they send it to the Muslim, come and see. There was a one Pakistan friend of mine who was telling me an Indian man living in UK saw a very big church and then he asked the guy that, oh, you have a very nice location and we have a lot of Muslims in this area which if you sell this uh, church for me I'll buy them and say God forbid God forbid in the name of Jesus lady or the father how can I say the house of God then sell the Lord to them look later after one month the man came again and said look I know this house over here, it will be about around, let's say, 100,000 pounds per year. But I'll give you 150,000 pounds per year. This is example. Like the man went home and then he discussed with his wife. Say, look, someone is offering me 150,000 pounds per year for this church. How do you see? The wife said, he give him very fast. Give him. How many people do we have? People are not coming. We are, we are just wasting money by doing a lot of things, facilities in the church. So he did So he came and collected. Called the man and then he took him. An Indian man bought that house at that church and then now come and see the people. Baba. So, do you think I like the people? Walau keri bal kafirun, and in another verse he said, Walau keri bal mushrikun. Allah said, Islam is going to conquer the whole world. Abbas wa Tawalla, Allah is talking to Prophet Muhammad. He said, He is he eschewed his face like, and then wa Tawalla, and then he turned around and you know give his back to who? The Ahmad. And Jaul Ama, when the blind man came to him, Waman Fikala Allah Yal Zakka. And I said, Prophet, let me ask you, those dignities, that big personality you give all your intention to him, and ignoring your sahabi, ignoring the Muslim brother who came to you and then because he is Waman Fikala Allah Yal Zakka. How did you know? Who told you that he is even, he's even going to accept your name? I'm not going to listen to you. How we are that care of a town far or who did you are? Allah said, Oh, who told you, Prophet Muhammad, that he will give you the ear of hearing? He will give you the heart of hearing until maybe that speech that you are giving to him will benefit him. He's not ready for that. So he's just wasting your time. Amma man, amma, he said, Amma man is tabna, fa anta lahu tasadda, wa ma alayka alla yazka. And let's start to talk to Prophet Muhammad about the, 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 the distance. The blind man, he said, he is the one you have to give all your intentions to. Because he is the one who is going to listen to you and then support your religion to And then, let me come down to where the best is seen. Yawma yafarul maru min afi Allah said, remember the day that a brother will see his brother and be running away. Wa ummihi wa afi not a brother alone, but he will see Ummihi, his mother, Wa'abihi, and his father, 
but running away from them. He will see his wife, Swahiba, wife, Wabaniri, children, you will see them running away. Children are running away from their parents on that day. Allah said, all of them, every single soul on that day, they see you, I am on my own. Everyone who put his hands on his head, running away saying, I am surviving on my own. Mother, I don't want to even talk to you. No greetings on that day. No good morning, no good evening. But you going to do that? So here, Allah is saying, Allah said, everyone is saying, I am on my own. Even the prophets and messengers are saying, I am on my own. Except who? Except Prophet Muhammad. I have done with my own, and I have put in the challenge. Who will start? Give us your favorite to your favorite area. Attack B. Attack B. Oh, attack B. No, no, no. Hey, look. It's a minute for two days, so we are out of Ramadan. So, move B. Attack B. Allah, what about you? Uh huh. So now I'm waiting. Who will take the mic? The challenge of Masha Allah. Uh, you will tell us your name and uh, where you are coming from since the beginning of the season and then you will sign. I'll take this verse alone and give the meaning of it. 
Allah is saying, فَمَنْ أَذْلَمِ مِنْ مَنْ كَتَبَ عَلَى اللَّهِ Who is the most cheated person? Who, who is the most cheated person? Huh? وَيَكَلِ سُوَالِنْجِ وَيَكَلِ وَنْدَ يَيْمَ أَنْدَ كَلِيَا The one who lied upon Allah. He will say something and he said, even Allah said this, even Allah said this. Huh? You hear him in chatting, in another money, in another chatting, then you say, uh, even, Allah, even Allah himself said this, even Prophet Muhammad said this, even Allah said this, where? And then again, he will give you some fatwa, somebody who is doing something which is bad or which is un 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 unlawful or something which is forbidden in Islam, when you talk to him to stop or you give him advice or you preach him, then he will also bring you some hadiths and then lie upon Allah. He will lie unto Allah. So Allah said the most cheated person on this earth is the one who lied. He lied on, on Allah and he knows that he is lying. وَكَذَّبَ بِسْرِكِ إِذْ جَاءَهُ Again, after that, he also lied. He also disbelieved. He disbelieved to accept the truth when the truth came. And then if Jahu, when the truth came to him, he had is either to be Prophet Muhammad, is the truth, or Al Quran is the truth. And the both of them is the same Istanbul. If Jahu, he disbelieved and he refused to accept the truth when the truth came to him. Then Allah said, Alisa fi jahannama makhwal lil kafiri Allahu Akbar Allah is asking the question which the answer is yes Alisa fi jahannama makhwal lil kafiri Allah said is it not jahannam is a permanent residence for kafiri the unbelievers yes indeed jahannam is a residence and the permanent residence for who? for unbelievers the Almighty Allah has days of our lives. Now, Nasir Lucy from Australia, are you ready to give us uh, your challenge? If you are ready, we'll give you the mic or you research over there and everyone will hear us from here. Nasir Lucy is pulling us all the way from Australia. Now, who is the second? Where is the mic? Okay. He said your name? Atiku. 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 Okay. Ousu. Ousu. Atiku. Ousu. From where? Odokotipa. From Odokotipa. Odokotipa. Okay. Give us your favorite surah of I. God bless you. Can you repeat it again? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Masha Allah, we have number two, Akibu Ousu. He gave us the favorite surah he liked in the Holy Quran. You see the benefits of today, the benefits of this strategy of our ending succeed today. Uh, we got to know, he gave us the best surah in the Holy Quran, that surah in Ikhlas. Uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Whoever will recite Surah Al Quran three times a day, you are going to reward to, to, to be rewarded like the one who recited uh, what we call it uh, one third of the Holy Quran. One third of the Holy Quran. Surah Al Quran is taking one third of the Holy Quran. Second day, Surah Al Ikhlas, Surah Al Ahad. One of the Sahaba. He used to love that surah a lot. So whenever he is praying, 
He's leading people in prayers. He went to the battle and he is a commander. So whenever he's leading them in prayers, he will recite every surah that he will recite. He will show the who will now God and ask him it. Like let's see, he recited uh, Ikra. Gairil Bai after he finished Fatia. Gairil Makubi Alayhi Inwa Lazari. Amin. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Iqra bismi rabbika al-ladhi khalaq. Or maybe he decided al-qari'a, mal-qari'a, wa ma adaraka mal-qari'a. Yawma yakoonu al-nasu kal-farash al-mabafood. Wa taqoonu al-jibalu kal-ihdi al-mabfood. Fa amma man thakulat mawazinu. فهو في عيشة الرابية وأما من خفت موازينه فأمه هاوية وما أدرك ما هي نار حامية. مثلا قولوا أن الله أكبر تبسط بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بطول وجوده. Even if he recited Idaja and Asurullah in one verse, he will add Guru Allah. And sometimes you will keep on for one week praying with them with Fatiha of Guru Allah, Fatiha of Guru Allah, hello. So some of them were very angry, were very disturbed, the fully ways. So when they came back, they brought his report to Prophet Muhammad. They reported him. Ah, Prophet, our commander, where you go? Always, Kulu Allah, always, Kulu Allah, in every salat, Kulu Allah, Kulu Allah. We, 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 are, we are even tired of sin. Does he know, you don't know any, all the, all the, a sort of surah and the verses in the whole Quran, only Kulu Allah. The Prophet said, but how? Where God you for me? Then you call the commander and he said, Prophet said, ah, your people brought your, you know, the, they came here with your report and they say, so, 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 so. Why are you doing that? He said, Prophet, I, I love Guru Allah so much in my heart. Prophet said, why? He said, because Surah to Guru Allah is a Surah that gave me the definition, the full definition of who is Allah. That is why I love Guru Allah. Hey, there were just conversations between him and the Prophet, then Allah sent and the Jibreel to come and tell him that, Prophet, I want you to tell that man that I have rewarded him Jannah without Guru Allah. So, my brother, uh, Akim Omsu, we have some correction over there. When you say, Kuluhu Allah Ahad, then you say, Allahu Masamad. Christ, aha, atabi. So if not, you know, I was just saying that uh, this, this uh, brother man, last year we were with him, but this year I did not see him. Only today I saw him. Not knowing that Allah is coming to correct him or something. Kulu who are now prophets say to them, Allah is one. Ahad. Alone. You know, one is alone, right? But Allah is alone, one. The one that, that, that doesn't have two. That's why he used the word Ahad. Ahad is one. Wahid is one. But Wahid, you will see his name. Ahad, you don't have the two of Ahad. That is Arabic language for you. You don't have the second for Ahad. But you have second for Wahid. If you say Wahid, you see his name. Wahid is name. Salah, Arab. But Ahad, Ahad doesn't have the, the second or the plural. That is why Allah used Allah, Kuluhu Allahu Ahad. Prophet said Allah is one and two. The one that doesn't have two. Allah is summoned. So Brother Aki also, he supposed to say Allah. Don't add Allah. No, Allah is summoned. Kuluhu Allah. Kuluhu Allah. Kul huwa Allahu Ahad. Allahu Samad. Aha, so it is Allahu, the name of Allah. It's not Allahumma. Allahumma is the name of Allah. The meaning of Allahumma is, Oh my Lord. You understand? Oh my Lord. 
which we can use to anyone. Uh, we need to go to court and then we, we can see my law, right? In the court here, my law. My law, yes, I'm, I, I know I'm guilty, but I'm guilty with expectation. There was a one guy in our area, he was caught he smoking weed. He's a weed smoker. So they caught him, and then the day they took him to jail, to the court, <laughs> we were all there. Because he said he's a, he's a grammar guy. He used to work in grammar. Grammar. <laughs> in the, in the, in the grammar. But God has seen him in ghetto. If he gets me, this week. So he caught him, and then on the day of court, the judge asked him, Guilty or not guilty? He said, I am guilty with explanation. <laughs> I'm guilty with explanation. But well, that guy is an Arabia. So the explanation here is Kulhu Allahu Akat. Allahu Summit. Understand, He is Summit. Allah is Summit. He gave us one of His 99 names, As Summit. As Summit means I am the one people come to me and ask for favor and ask for anything. As Summit. Let me yell it. He did not give birth. Well, I'm you left. Nobody gave birth to him. He did not give birth. Nobody gave birth to him. What if you could love with one other? And he doesn't have or he do not have any partner. If you say Kufuan, the meaning of Kufuan is the partner. He doesn't have any partner in his you know, in his lordship or in his palace or his, on his throne for that, oh, uh, okay, we have two lords, second in command, uh, okay, this is a friend of Allah, uh, so uh, if we are in need of some favor and we call Allah, we did not get it, let's pass through his friend. No, when I'm here for love of Fufu and Allah, Allah said, I don't have any friend or partnership for you to worship me together with my partner. No. So you see, so that you follow Allah, that Sahabi, that companion said, I love Kulu Allah because Kulu Allah tell me who is Allah. Let me hear it. When we do that, he did not give faith. He don't have son. And so that guy poor. <laughs> God is a very wicked person, you see those that tell you. Paul, that come with that one, that's not Paul. He's the one who started all this confusion by saying Jesus is the son of God. See, Jesus is chosen. Because Jesus himself never said, I'm a son of God. Or is it there in the Bible, where Jesus said, I'm, I'm a God or a son of God? If you come to pray, we have 80, we have uh, 28, I think this year it will be 29. My best friend, Mohammed Awal, I think you know him, Mohammed Awal, the debater, who was telling me that the chef of one of them, they have 28 different versions. Every year they bring that. He was the one who was telling me that in America one day, uh, some women refused to come to church that Sunday. They refused to come to church. The pastor was confused. So after the church, he said, ah, where are all the women? They are on strike. Uh, how can you strike on one person? <laughs> God, we thank God for Islam. How can you strike on one We are on strike. What happened? They say, anytime they, they, are, they, they, they donate a loss in the church, they contribute a loss. But anytime when the pastor comes, he will keep on saying, Children of God, the Son of God, the Son of God. When, when will he come and say, The daughters of God? So they, they, then the pastor said, okay, you feed the members of cabinet and then they will sit and see by the time the new patient will come, will be, they will have their own portion. But like one of our is telling me, how, how come? How come this will happen? Subhanallah. So we all might say, Allah have made so open heart. Who take the, uh, the, the third challenge? Masha, ah, Ms. Osman. Ah, who? Women? Okay, before we get to the woman who gave us, Chama is here, maybe Chama will give us his food. 
Now, we put a challenge, we are on Facebook Live, from the message, from the second one, okay, we have number three. Give him the mic, I love that person. Those are 
Christians who are falling and not a part of those who are already in loss. Those are who, those are Jews. Then you say, I mean. Then, so that's a part here. It's like from the beginning you praise Allah, then you ask Allah for something, then you ask Allah for Him to save you from going wayward in the rest. So that's a part here. Prophet Muhammad says, Whoever wake up in the morning and make his hand like this. And recite to him five eight times, and blow into his hand, it in his palm. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah ya Rabbi al-Alim. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Malik yawm al-Qiyam. Ya Nabi wa Ya Nasaim. Ehdin al-Surat al-Mustaqim. Al-Surat al-Ladin alam ta'alim. Ghayr al-Maktub alim. Walad ta'alim. Then you blow. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. After seven times. Then you rub it over your body in the morning before you go out. Prophet said that day, be sure that you are saved by Allah from the wicked of witches and wizards. So what's the fact here? Hey, you know the water, rain, you know this one now, I won't say it here. This one, you have to come to the office. Or you have to pay money before I'll say it. Yeah, that's what you have to. You know, when the rain is falling, or Chama, should I talk? Or yeah, Chama, say I should talk. <laughs> when the, when it's, it's raining, when it's raining, take a pool, a pool, then put it directly, or you bring a, a table like this, and you, you put it in the middle of the house or anywhere, then let the water come straight forward to eat. Not the one who passed through the sandal or something, no, straight forward from it. And then the amount that you have after the rainfall, take that water. You know the time? The time is 2.15 in the night. 2.15 in the night. Wake up at that time. Pray to Raga of Fatia. But when we, you wake up, the moment you wake up from your mat or from your bed, don't go down. Don't just move to the bathroom or something. By sitting there, then you said, La ilaha illallah. There is this thing that Prophet said, Man ta'ara min al fakala, La ilaha illallah. So this is the starting I'm giving you. That time the water is there. Then when you just wake up, La ilaha illallah. وَهْدَهُ لَا شَرِيكَ لَا لَهُ الْمُلْكُ وَلَهُ الْحَمْدُ وَهُوَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٌ سُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ وَالْحَمْدِ لِلَّهِ وَلَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَاللَّهُ أَكْبَرُ وَلَا حَقْلَ فَلَا قُوَّةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ رَبِّ غِفَرْ لِي Then start again لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَهْدَهُ When you just wake up, do not move. Prophet said you didn't move. Don't move, don't move on your mat or on your bed. Then, La ilaha illallah, wahdahu la sharika la, lahu lumuluku wa lahu laham, wa huwa ala kulli shayi kadeh. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wa allahu akbar, wa la hawla ala kuwata illa billah. Rabbi ikhtar. After that, then you bring salatu ala nabi. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad kama salli ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim Allahumma barik ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad kama barat ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim inna ka hamidu majid Then you take that book of water That time, you take that book started to tell Allah whatever you want In Allah Akbar Wallahi, Wallahi You see the miracle of Allah one life, one life, one life. You see the miracle of Allah. You see the miracle of Almighty Allah. But that time, you see whatever, if it is a child, your child that you want to do it for him, uh, for, for knowledge or for anything, then you tell Allah everything about him. If it is about you yourself, your health, you know, some sickness that doctors have tried their best, it's not doing, just try Surat al -Fatiha. I don't want to use the word try, but just go to Surat al -Fatiha and use the metal, rainbow, take it directly from the heaven, put it down, 
in that night, if you wake up around 1, 1 15, 2, at the right time is 2, 2 15, getting to 2 30, wake up at that time. From your mom, from your bed, do not go from your bed. You just wake up and you recite what I just see right now. And after that, take that water, bring it closer to your mouth, then you start talking. You start talking in gown, in chew, in household, in whatever, then you start talking. Talk inside. Say the other what you want. Talk, talk when you finish, then you blow into the water. But if it is about Shiva, like seeking for healing, like seeking for someone who is sick and the breath, if it is that, then you bring Sukhra Jephatiya, recite it seven times. Then you blow into it. After that, you close that thing that you are waking up and everything that you did, you close that at the level. After that, put the water. Now, Prophet said, We are in karma. We are in karma. We are in the karma. Prophet said, In this moment, at that moment, if you wake up and then if you move from your bed and go to the bathroom and make a pollution, and have to pray in Raka, if two, three, four, any Raka, Prophet said, is 100%, not 99, 100%. Who will be the Salatu? Allah is going to accept your prayers. So, this is the strategy. Yeah, you know, it is two things. It's either after you finish, you know, after you finish what I told you, you feeling like, okay, let me pray some two raka. It's different. So, it is two in one. When you finish this one, you can go back to your sleep. What you want to do, have already in me, done it. But if you feel like that is why professor you are in karma, one woman is one will have, you know, we are in karma. If he decided to add some raka, some prayers in that night, that is over to him. But from waking up and doing whatever you did right now, you can go back to your sleep. So it, 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 it is a chance for a woman who is in her menses that she wanted to go eat, but that time she is in the message, she can wake up, do that, after that, she go to what she go back to sleep. And then you have this Surat and party to recite it 70 times. 70 times, each and every one will go into that water. After this, give it to a child. Or, you people watch me to start bringing something. You have this honey. Zuma, honey, uh, pure one, pure one, pure one, papa. Then you get a groundnut, gujia, granite. Okay. That groundnut, you mix it with that one. Put it down. In that night when you wake up, exactly what you did with the water, you do the same with that one. Give it to a child to start making it early in the morning. And the last thing before he go to bed, give him one year and ask him in school and ask him about his Quran and ask him about everything to see how God is going to wash the brain. This is working even for a for a, a for, for a full grown man, not to talk about a child. And then on that one too, you have the citation of Atiya if it is going to 70 times by the knee on that. But we we'll continue that the rest in the night tomorrow, inshallah. Yeah, the water, the person will keep on drinking it. You can put it in any bowl, put it in the fridge, and then when you drink it, then you pour some wash on your feet. If it is a sick person, just let the person start drinking it and washing it with him and see the miracle of Almighty Allah. That is what the fact here that said Ibrahim Sachi that's right now. So I think it's time for our iftar and uh, our breaking of the fasting. We thank Almighty Allah for today and we pray may Almighty Allah bless us, guide us and accept our prayers. May Almighty Allah accept our Ramadan and may Almighty Allah let us live long to see another Ramadan for the years to come, inshallah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Lord of the Lord, the Lord of the Lord, the Lord of the Lord, the Lord of the Lord. Yeah, Baba Najib, Canada, we are also greeting you from, he said, uh, he's also from, I think, from this area. 
focus that the Almighty Allah bless you and guide you. Thank you.